Hi, this is Sonya and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create custom chip bags in Silhouette Studio. You will need a few things to get started, a printer, a pair of scissors, a paper crimper or decorative scissors, some adhesive, and your selection of chips. So let's get started. I forgot to mention you will need paper. The type of paper you use is really a personal preference, depending on the look you're going for, whether it be matte or glossy finish. I use Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy. A lot of crafters prefer to use brochure paper to achieve that glossy chip bag look. In my experience with brochure paper, I find it too thick and hard to work with. However, I have heard from other crafters you can find some really thin brochure paper that works well. So try out different papers and see what works best for you. Okay, we're in Silhouette Studio. I'm using the Business Edition, but you'll be able to create this design in any version of Silhouette Studio. I will be using a one ounce size chip bag and I made my template smaller than the standard full sheet that most chip bags are made by. For the sake of time, I've already imported my template and my clip art images. And the first thing we're going to do is to add our background to our template. I have that image saved on my desktop and I'm going to use the drag and drop method. It attaches itself directly to my template. This is our picture of reference and we're going to follow this guide to build our template. I already have my images attached to save time. And I'm going to bring in and we're going to work on the middle. Uh, let me bring all these images to the front. here and I will hold my shift and select my background and I'm going to go to the transform panel and we're going to center this. It centers it on the page. Okay so now we want to bring in our blades of grass. Right now it doesn't really look like he's standing in tall grass but I saved these PNG grass images from Google and we're going to give this a 3D effect, sort of. So you see how that is going behind Mario? Alright, we're going to line it up there. Then I'm going to bring this one and it's going to go in the front. So can you kind of see how it makes it have a 3D illusion, sort of? And when we bring our eggs in, our eggs are going to go in the grass. And not on top of the grass. Let me show you the difference. Okay, see how this looks? It doesn't look as realistic as as it does when it goes in the grass. I like this much better. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger so they can sit out. Okay, so our eggs are in the grass. And I think I want to take that all the way across. eggs are in the grass and I want to put these in the grass here. Alright, so all we're doing now is just plugging in all of our clip art pieces. This is a bag of Cheetos, so we're going to put that there. I don't need this set of eggs, so I delete that. I'm going to bring Mario in. Let's look 
at our picture. Okay. Let's get our barcode. This barcode is a font. Bring to front. This is a, a barcode font that I downloaded to my computer and I can add any saying to the barcode that I want whether it's numbers, words, whatever. As well as the name here, this is a Mario font. And I ungrouped the letters and I was able to color them individually. nutritional facts. I did design these nutrition facts. They have some that are already made on Google but they won't be custom to your party. If you need help um, learning how to design custom nutrition facts in Silhouette Studio just let me know and I'll do a quick video on that. So this bag is ready to be sent to the printer. I'm going to print it out. These lines are on here are only for reference. They're not going to print out. They're just guidelines. If you want to delete them after you have designed your bag, if it makes you feel more comfortable, you can do so. But I'm not going to delete them because I know they're not going to print. So I'm going to print this out and I will be back and we will assemble our chip bag. Okay, I have my image cut out. When you print it out, it's going to be a white border around it. You want to cut that off. I'm going to use my tape gun to apply my adhesive. You may also use red line tape, which is really good. Or you can use those small adhesive um, strips. So you want to put tape down the right, down the bottom, and across the top. I'm going to put a little adhesive in the middle just to hold the bag. And all you do now is bring it in and try to line it up as best as you can on the edge. Okay. So now you have something that looks like this. And you just want to close the ends. So just squeeze and close. Do the same thing for the top. I messed that one up a little. I will cut that off. So you just get your scissors, and where you see that white, just cut straight across. No big deal. Then you're going to get your paper crimper and insert your chip bag inside and give it a couple rows. Then do the bottom. And it puts that crimp in there. And that's your chip bag. And for those that do not have this, um, there's an alternate thing you could do. You could use these 
decorative scissors that have the um, crimping edge. This right here is hard to find. It's on eBay. I saw it for about $30. I think Friskers has discontinued this particular one. They have another one that's on Amazon, and I don't like it at all. But this is our chip bag. This is um, volume one. I'm going to be doing a series of party printables that we will make a Easter basket with once we are complete with the series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.